Hello and welcome to the TR Business video channel. I'm here today with a very special guest and long-term friend, Eric Yormortensen. Hello to you, sir. Thank you for joining me today on camera. Hello, Charlotte. Hi. Uh, for the few in our industry that uh, aren't familiar, uh, Eric served as the Tax Free World Association president for almost 19 years uh, when we took well, up until 2018, when we think uh, he takes his final bow. But turns out uh, just two years later, he was re-elected as TR uh, Tax Free World Association president once more. So, Eric, welcome back. How does it feel to be president once again? Well, I'm actually very pleased about, um, and when I spoke to the management committee and board meeting in this board members in December, uh, I got the same question. What are you doing here? Uh, give us the reason. And I said, that is a perfectly legitimate uh, question. And had you asked me, um, had you asked me uh, three months ago, I would just do what I've done up to then, laugh and say, thank you. There's no intention of coming back. I've been there, done the work, got the T-shirt, and and that's it. But I have to say, over the um, over the following months, both before, during, and after can, the number of people asking me very kindly, people are kind, um, what it would take for me to uh, to take the step and come back. Um, it slowly but surely became clear to me that the number of things that this industry has to go through and the number of the things the association has to go through and change and prepare for the new world uh, are, are quite substantial. And um, I can also see that somebody with a normal job, uh, everyday job, would, would could find that very difficult, whereas I got the time. And uh, so slowly but surely, I, I came across to the idea, well, why not give it a, a shot and see what I can do to uh, to help uh, this beautiful association, which I uh, was one of the creators of in 1984, I think it was. Mm, absolutely. I mean, as you say, it was it was overwhelming um, in, 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 to some extent and but also exciting. Uh, and, and some people might find it strange that I use that word, uh, given what we've all been through in the last couple of years. Uh, and I'm sure you've had an excellent uh, position um, to sort of view our industry from the outside. Um, before we before we move on to, on to that question, um, everyone is very keen to know what the TFWA's priorities will be uh, for this year, given what, as I said, we've, we've all been through in the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, uh, our industry, as, as we all know, is, uh, is uh, a people of business. And if anybody was in doubt, being in Cannes uh, last October, it was so clear, uh, it was clearly demonstrated that our industry is one of, of people and uh, our priority, therefore, uh, must be, and always has been, to provide the best possible platform for people to meet, uh, to the industry to meet, to network, to share uh, ideas and information, and to conduct business face-to-face -face in, a, in a safe environment. And that will still be uh, uh, our very high priority going forward. Um, travel remains very uncertain, as we all know, uh, for... Uh, and, and will continue to be for, for a while. But TFW will, will, will try to uh, continue to develop and expand our, our, for instance, our digital offer on the TFWA365 mm -hmm. platform to ensure business can engage virtually and delegates even when they're unable to attend in person, as well as provide uh, essential information and uh, permanent online showcase throughout mm -hmm. the year. Um, yeah. It's interesting that you talk about the digital aspects there. I mean, something that perhaps in 2018 was not quite as important um, as it has become. You know, and we all know that that has accelerated. The journey uh, towards digitalization has definitely accelerated in the last couple of years, no doubt. Um, in terms of what you have observed 
from the outside looking in, or, albeit, um, you know, uh, very much still uh, with with one foot in the industry because of uh, because of because of Sarah Branquino, of course, uh, being president of the DFWC, you can't really uh, remove yourself too much from from uh, the industry. But you know, for, to some extent, you have been on the outside looking in. Um, what, what observations have you made uh, uh, in that respect? Well, I have, of course, like most people who who, who travel, and and we have remained traveling as much as we've been able to through this period. But it has, of course, been quite um, uh, awful, I would say, mm -hmm. to, to see how many businesses have devastated and the number of uh, friends and colleagues from the industry that have had to throw in the, uh, uh, the towel in the ring. And uh, that has been very difficult uh, to, to uh, to witness and my heart certainly goes out to all these people that that, that we know of um, those who, who remain however i think have demonstrated uh, a, a lot of imagination creativity and determination that is what has made this industry so great and to ensure that it remains so going forward um, the innovation and adaptive uh, what's that word adaptability i think it is mm -hmm. we have the industry has been remarkable and, and continues to be remarkable. Uh, but it has been seen just going through an airport to see the number of retail outlets closed, um, like in the high street. And that's really something that that's, has had a, a clear impact on me. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And another thing that uh, will be, I'm sure, um, ha have been highlighted and, and flagged to yourself and other members of, of the board is, is the fact that uh, supply chain issues have been uh, alarming uh, in, in the last few months or the last sort of half year to, to a year, really. Um, and I imagine that they'll persist again this year with many saying actually that they'll be more acute uh, this year. I mean, has that been uh, part of your conversations with the board, albeit early, uh, you know, you haven't really had much uh, chance to uh, meet them yet? Not yet, but it's clear that the, the I mean, the lack of product on shelves is mm -hmm. no is no, it's, it's awful for all parties concerned. And, and I think you are right that the problem will persist going forward into uh, 2022 and perhaps even longer. But hopefully, hopefully the uh, lack of raw materials, supplies and, and what have you will be eased a bit so that, again, we can, we can come back to a more normal stock and, and shelf situation than we have in the past. Um, because it, it is, it is certainly nobody's interest that you that, that there are not enough um, products. But the resources are difficult. The uh, the materials are, are difficult at times to get. So mm. can only hope that that will ease a bit going forward. Mm -hmm. Some of the materials, indeed, that have been difficult to uh, get access to have actually been sustainable alternatives, uh, especially when it comes to packaging, bottles, uh, and, you know, with the greatest will in the world, some of these companies who are trying to transition to more sustainable procedures, processes, packaging, etc., it's all made all the more difficult um, by supply chain issues. Uh, I imagine sustainability and regeneration, they'll be high on the list of priorities and, and things that the association wants to encourage and communicate this year. Absolutely. Uh, um, the sustainability has always been uh, one of the top priorities for the association uh, before the pandemic, and, and it will continue to be so uh, uh, for us going forward. Um, the industry still faces many different challenges on the front, on this front, uh, in the space of travel retail, for example, uh, balancing luxury presentations with sustainable packaging has been a real challenge mm -hmm. and will be a challenge for many brands. However, I'm, I, I'm pleased to see that an increasing number of brands in travel retail have been incorporating more and more sustainable elements into the various parts of their value chain, from sourcing to designing to manufacturing and even sales and marketing. And, uh, I, I'm very pleased every time I open a magazine or read a, a, a trade magazine and see brands having made um, efforts on, on that front. And for us at TFW, I think it's important that uh, we continue to uh, uh, talking about this uh, because so um, to keep talking about that to keep it on the top of the uh, 
um, priority amongst the, the industry. And we can do that by, by talking about it, by involving ourselves in it. And we will certainly continue to do that. Mm -hmm. we, have, uh, we have been looking at uh, how we can minimize our ecological footprint wherever possible um, from reducing on-site waste in, at our events to introducing paperless uh, options to delegates and, and a number of other fronts. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah, no, and, and uh, indeed, TL Business has uh, reported on, on those changes as well. And as you mentioned, there are a number of suppliers uh, and, and retailers and airports and ferries and cruise operators that are making great strides uh, in terms of improving their sustainable uh, procedures and products. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, a, a kind of macro question, uh, we've all had to, um, we're all at the mercy of passenger traffic and obviously the dearth of which in the, in the last couple of years has, has had a diabolical effect on all travel and tourism businesses. Um, the Tax Free World Station has often taken on the role of trying to encourage uh, people to obviously travel, um, you know, more and more and, and uh, discover you know, all those new, you know, duty free shops that we have, all those glorious shops that have been built. Um, and what can you do in this sort of sphere going forward to really make sure that, you know, the, of the longevity of international travel for, our, for the health of our industry? I think there's no major issue there, really, because uh, travel has always been an essential part of human life, and it will continue to be so. The appetite for travel is, is not going to go away, uh, and um, people will still travel. Uh, and we have seen the moment the restrictions are loosened a little bit, the uh, demand for travel increases. And I think that will be the same going forward. Yes, it will. The, the numbers have been hit severely uh, in, in the past um, 18 months or so, but I think they will come back. It may take a little while before we are back, before the pandemic, but for me, going forward, there's no doubt about that the numbers of people traveling will come back and it will increase again. Mm -hmm. So the, the platform for our business, I think, will be there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and as a sort of, uh, you know, a benefit, should we say, uh, there haven't been many uh, of the pandemic. Uh, a lot of retailers have reported to TR business and indeed suppliers that spend per head has actually risen quite considerably in this time. Uh, obviously, we, we, we're all aware this is not sustainable going forward, as we've discovered from the answers in our uh, global industry survey. In fact, most people think they aren't sustainable, but uh, there are lessons, uh, positive lessons that can be uh, that we've learned uh, from how the industry has adapted during this period, and perhaps those lessons can be can be carried on. And, and you know, conversion as well has and penetration levels have also been higher. So there may be things that we can uh, we can we can keep uh, for the future, so to speak. Hopefully yeah. going forward. Um, I, I don't want to keep you too long because I know you've got a very busy day ahead. But uh, I guess one sort of final question uh, for you is, you know, well, it's a two pronged question. What did you do you miss most during your break from from the presidency? And uh, what are you most looking forward to in getting back to the industry in, in this year? Well, I, I think I may surprise a few people when I when I answer the first part of your question. But looking at uh, what I've missed most is really the interaction with, uh, with people. Mm. Uh, those who know me will find that perhaps a little bit strange because I'm not the most extrovert person there is, but I have, say, I have to say that is really what I have missed most. And it was clearly demonstrated to me in Cannes last year um, how much it means uh, to, to be able to communicate and interact with people. And uh, over the many years I have been involved in the industry of course i've got to know uh, quite a few people and some have been become very close friends and and, uh, and others just people you meet regularly and and appreciate so um that that is certainly one thing uh, i have missed and i look forward to uh, to reconnecting with all these people again going forward another thing i think uh, perhaps at the harder end i think i missed the commercial commercial and uh, cut and thrust of, in, of, of being in, in a very important uh, industry and being part of the uh, very fast paced, dynamic and forward thinking, successful industry. That, that is something I really missed to be mm. part of the fast pace going on there. So mm. I look very much to 
taking my my place in that again going forward and hopefully being able to do my little bit to to uh, help the industry going forward. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is a bit of a cheeky question to ask you right at the end, but uh, it depends, I know, on what sort of things uh, take place uh, this year and what year we have. But would you consider going for election again at the end of <laughs> this year? Uh, you know, just uh, thought I'd throw that question in right at the end. Yeah, I think that's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think, I think, and I haven't even thought about it. I, I have been asked uh, mm -hmm. how long are you going to be there? And I have always said uh, since the election in, in December that it, let's see how things go. I think it's important we get TFW up and running really again uh, and meeting the, all the demands and, and prepared best possible for uh, its role in the industry uh, and then let, let's see how that goes. Uh, so I think it's really premature to, to talk about after the, the coming year here and uh, I have certainly not given it any thought and okay. I'm sure the board we to have, have as well have not given it a much thought. There's mm -hmm. enough to do right. Uh, the world is changing, the industry is changing and we at TFW need to change as well to be able to, to Best possible live up to our, our, our goals and, and to deliver on them. And you know, I've said often that TFWA only has uh, uh, any role to play um, as, as long as we live up to the expectations and indeed exceed the expectations of the industry and our members. And if we don't do that, I don't think we've got much to play. Unfortunately, uh, we have so far, and I certainly look forward to doing my little bit to make sure that that is still the case. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been really lovely talking to you, Eric, and it's been uh, it's been too long since we uh, were able to to talk like this. And I indeed look forward to to seeing you uh, face to face uh, very soon. Uh, so thank you once again for joining us here today. You're very welcome and take care. Yeah, take care to you too. Thank, thank you. you.